So Wuthering Wave is coming less than a month, and a lot of people don't know which 5 star character they should prioritize or go for, and in this video I'm gonna tell you about each character and some of their kit to be able to choose which one you want. So stick around to the end of the video to know which is the best and I will give you my personal opinion. Let's begin. Disclaimer, the character kit may change at the release of the game, so put that in mind. This video was meant to give you a general idea of what they do and what you should go for. First thing first, let's talk about Kakaro. Kakaro is a main DPS doing electro damage. His resonance skill Extermination order can be cast three times in a row. If not cast in a short time, it will enter in a cooldown with a cooldown time of 10 seconds. Kakaro ultimate attack does a lot of damage to the surrounding area and also he will transform into a new form where he will do a lot of damage to the enemy when doing main attack and I think Kakaro is a very strong DPS unit. Now moving on to Encore. Encore is a main DPS fusion damage dealer. Her resonance skill, Thermal Woolly Will, Summon Cloudy and Cosmo and attack the target with high temperature rays causing fusion damage, and if Thermal Woolly is used again during the appearance of Angry Porn, it will add another attack. And her ultimate attack, Cosmo Rampage, let Anchor does way more fusion damage, which is very powerful. If you are enjoying my content so far, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate the notification bell on, that would mean a lot to me, thank you. And don't forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash dialegs. Now let's talk about Ling Yang, or known as the furry guy, just kidding. Anyway, Ling Yang is a main DPS glacial damage dealer. His skill will punch, but when you hit a lot, his skill will change and do a lot of damage. His ultimate attack let Ling Yang to enter in a badass mod and it will do a lot of damage and he can fly as well as you can see. Now let's talk about Jiang Qin. Jiang Qin is a complicated case. She is a aero DPS and a sustain. Her resonance skill calming air is a parry skill and do damage too and you will gain 25 chi. Also, when holding attack, she will give self heal and a shield. So I think she is a supporter slash sustain. But she will be vulnerable to get in an attack, and she take a while to get the full effect. Her ultimate skill, purification force field, will create a strong wind field that pull the enemy within the wind field to the center and causing aerial damage. Finally, let's talk about Verina. Verina is a spectral support unit. Her skill gives 20% attack to your party member, and also she can heal your allies as well. Also, she has the star flower blooms and I'm gonna show you the image and read it carefully. Now who should you prioritize? First I'm gonna say my opinion and then say which one you should go for. In my opinion those characters will get power creep rather quickly because there will be a lot more new characters with busted kit in the near future. Like in Genshin and Honka Impact, most of their tender character got power creep, and I recommend you guys to just get what you like from them, not for the meta wise. So if we talk about the meta wise, I would suggest you in the top priority to get Verena, because Verena will give you 20% more attack for the party member. And I think having a supporter is more important than having a 
DPS. But if you don't like having a, a support, I would suggest you to either go for Kakaro or Encore because those two seem the most interesting and the most strongest DPS. But then again, most of the character will get a rework. So put that in mind. That's all I have to say about the video. If you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, put a like, and follow me on the twitch.tv the Alex. And also tell me which character you're going for and why. We will see you next time. See ya.